Man, another day, another real estate video. Right now we're in the city of Milpitas and today's video is gonna be a little bit different from the ones that we've done in the past. In the past, we've done a couple mansions here and there, three million, four million, some $5 million houses. But today we're taking a look at more of like a standard house in the Bay Area. The one that we're taking a look at today is gonna to start off at 1.725 million dollars and as you guys can see behind me these houses are kind of the newer style of bay area houses they're three stories pretty tight don't have a big front yard they don't have a big backyard but they're still very expensive and a lot of them are in hoa neighborhoods which means that you're gonna have to pay a hoa fee sold whatever, sign me up whatever you're selling i'll you're buy buying it, it? <laughs> wait whose voice is that wait what the heck oh hey <laughs> <clears throat> david navarro for uh compass real estate at your service I like that. <laughs> Let us know if you want David to sell you guys a house. Mm, man, I can sell water to a ski boat. <laughs> Have you been enjoying the house videos? Yeah, it's been fun because like we hear about all these prices, but we've never really been on the other side, like actually touring the houses. So it's been cool to see like, damn, this is what $2 million can get you. Even though we can't afford that right now, it's like, nah, I'm not buying this. It's like, nah, I'd rather just, you know, personally, I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't buy this. I think it's cool to see the way that people live, but today, Again, we're going to be checking a house similar to this one out. Don't show my address. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. But first <laughs> things first, look at the fit. Oh, Damn. my God. What's up with it? What you know about them Cole Hans? With the matching? Okay, okay. We stay strapped, street protected. <laughs> All right, let's go sell this house. All right, here we go. <laughs> we're also using brand new mics. So if you guys enjoy the sound quality, let us know in the comment section down below. Paris Baguette, okay. A chocolate croissant twist, and we have some ham and cheese croissants. I like that. Croissants. I've been loving these real estate videos also because I get to dress up kind of fancy and I like it. Like sometimes when you dress up, you just feel a different way. You feel saucy. So I'm feeling pretty saucy right now. No, that's true. Like your confidence just like goes up. Like, yo, I'm something now. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the house that we're taking a look at today. Three story. That's all I know. We're gonna ask Alan for the specs. Let's go inside. Today we got one of the new builds in Milpitas built in 2016, uh, tri-level home. So this community is a pretty quiet community right off of uh, 880 near uh, Dixon Landing. In this community, the HOA is about 279 and that gets you the exterior painting, community walkways, things like that. The home itself boasts about a four bedroom, three and a half bath on 2,400 square foot. So you got tri-level living, you got your uh, garage, bedroom, bathroom, first level, living space in the between, and then bedroom and laundry unit all on the third floor. It's uh, listed at 1.725 million. That's Milpitas pricing right now. Basically Bay Area pricing is starting around 1.2, 1.3 now. Exactly. So prices are going up. Real estate is pretty expensive out here. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna show you guys what 1.725 gets you in Milpitas. In the last video, I noticed I say nice a lot to describe everything. So we're gonna try not doing that in this, in this video. So if I say nice, I don't know, just like the video or something. <laughs> and we're also going to try to not mention that TVs go in certain places because I do that a lot too. <laughs> so we're trying to fix that. We're gonna try to not do it in this one, but it looks like this one's staged. So let's go ahead and get started. All right here is the entryway. Like Alan said, this one has a bedroom down here and a garage. So let's go ahead and take a look at the bedroom. This would be bedroom number one. I kind of like it. This is a more modern feel. As Alan said, this was built in 2016. You're gonna get the updated floors, updated carpet, kind of grayish tone vibes. This could be like an office. For a little big boss man right here. For a, for a big boss man. Not a little boss. Not a little boss. Big man. We also have a closet right here. Just a decent sized closet, nothing too crazy. But what I like is the bathroom. The bathroom is a part of the bedroom. So you don't have to go in and out anywhere. Just go right here. It's very simple. It's clean. This is bedroom number one. I'm sold already. You're sold? <laughs> <laughs> what are the payments looking like on a $1.725 million house? Sure. Monthly. So on average, um, basically people do like around a 20% down payment of the sales price, 350K down okay. payment. So then uh, your mortgage would be about 1.3-ish. That would look around 7K a month. 7K a month, guys. Yeah. But the positive is you got 
Three different climate control setup. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Makes it so much better. This is a nest? Yes. Oh yo, I like I like how it feels. Yes. It's very uh it's very fancy. So you could be colder here, warmer up there, and then super cold on the top level. That's true, because the heat rises. Yep. Garage door. Has a security system. I like that. <laughs> Does the uh, does the forerunner come with the sale of this house? Of course, everything is negotiable. <laughs> we are always willing to make the client happy. Okay, two car garage right here. Um, I like how there's a little cutout on this uh, this side of the garage. You could probably put some storage racks up there, but you could fit two cars in here. It's good. We got a tankless water heater, so it uh, reduces space, saves some water. It looks a little cleaner. Oh, so it's not like the submarine looking exactly. one, right? That probably goes to the side of the house. Exactly. You get a little... Let's take a quick peep. Is this the backyard? Dang. This side is, yard. This is the side yard. This is the only yard. Exactly. Wow. So with the newer houses, like we mentioned before, you don't really get a big backyard, you don't get a big front yard, you get a little sliver. Yeah. And that's just because the new builders are trying to save space. So they put houses very close to each other. You guys could probably see there's a house right next to this one, right there. And they could see into your little side yard, but I think putting a couple chairs out here, maybe, maybe a grill, or even just use this as storage, you could... Uh, <laughs> yep. You probably put something right here. The pro is it's low maintenance, very low maintenance. Exactly. You have a uh, one tree right here. Oh no, <laughs> that's growing. Garage door. I'm assuming this is a closet on this side. Ooh, David, we have your Harry Potter closet. Yo, Ivan's room. <laughs> Wait, who's this? Hi, are you lost? <laughs> I don't know why, but in every house video that we do and we see this, we always say Ivan's room. I don't know why, but... Actually, I don't. You, you do. So that was essentially the first floor. You have your first bedroom, you have your garage, and you have your closet. So let's go ahead and check out the second level. On those rainy days, you could just look out the, look out the window, let the rain hit it, and just put your hand right here. Get a little steamy, get emotional. Play some Stand by Eminem. Oh, whoa. Hey, this is really nice. I like it. It's modern, it's updated. This is the vibe that we're going for. Alan got the Paris Baguette. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, by the way, this video is sponsored by Paris Baguette. <laughs> <laughs> I like how high the ceilings are. For some reason, I was thinking that since it's a three level house, it's going to be like a little bit shorter on the, on the ceilings, but it's a lot of ceiling space right here. It makes it feel really open. Got some snacks. I didn't have Ooh. to bring you today. Eesh, stop that. <laughs> These cork stools are pretty nice too. I use nice. Oh no. Oh no. Redo it, redo it, redo it, redo it. Cut, cut. These cork stools are extravagant. <laughs> <laughs> Over here we have our dining area. Very simple dining area. If this was my place, I don't think I even have this. Cause you just eat right here. I usually don't have big parties over, so I'll probably do something else with this space. You don't have big cool. parties over because you are the party. Fancy fridge. I like that. Has a screen on it. What's this? <laughs> <laughs> what are we cooking here, David? Uh, probably some hot pockets. You know me. More hot pockets. I love how this whole place is lit with natural lighting. Still some recessed lighting, but the natural light, I'm sure is enough for this space. We also have a bathroom on this side with um, some shelving here. I don't know what you'd put here. What would you put? I don't know. Board games. <gasps> oh, board mm, games. Like wholesome that. family, man. I like that. And a simple bathroom. Very simple. Very clean. We also have this other area, which is like, you know, you could have two or three. Three basically areas to eat. Probably put a pool table right here. <laughs> this is my house. Put a pool table right here. Ah, look what they got. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Didn't even have to say it. <laughs> Didn't have to say it in this one. Another decent sized living room right here. And we have a little balcony on this side. How do you feel? You just stepped outside on your balcony 
of a $1.7 million home. How do you feel? Mixed feelings, a little bit mixed feelings because you kind of sacrifice living close to all the big companies, all the tech companies for your privacy. Because you step outside right here, you might want a little bit of privacy, but you got your neighbor right there. You got a neighbor on that side. Basically, this whole area is just filled with houses surrounding it. So I don't know if you're able to give up a little bit of privacy and you have that budget of 1.725 million, this might be for you. Yeah, I mean, it's cool, but there's really no privacy. It is like a super quiet neighborhood. I don't know, even though it's quiet, there's no one else like out walking around. I still feel some type of way just being out here, like as if someone's like looking at me. So it's not really as private. Yeah, because there could be people looking at you from those windows. Yeah. Those windows, those windows, just, there's windows everywhere. Just because you can't see them doesn't mean they're not watching. Just remember that. Damn, I like that. You like that, huh? Let's continue with you for the rest of the video. Please, come in. Home is where the heart is. Home sweet home. My favorite Bible verse. Genesis 1, verse 10. <laughs> so this is the second floor. We're gonna go ahead and galley up to the third floor. Don't record my cakes, dog. Wow, I love this view. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Probably got some more bedrooms up here. Let's start off with this beautiful two door. Probably a closet. Oh, washer and dryer. You know what that means? When you guys have dirty clothes, you can wash it and dry it. Very nice. Maybe put some detergent up here. Whatever you want, you know? This is your home. Put food up there if you want to. <laughs> All right, which way should we go? That one's just one room. Okay, let's save it for later. Step on over here. We have another bathroom, two sinks. Cool, so that's a bathroom. That's what you expect a bathroom to look like. Got more shelving over here, storage. Now we have one other bedroom. This place is four bedrooms, right? Yep. Four bedrooms, this is one of the bedrooms. This is where little Timmy would be staying. And if you park your Lamborghini outside, I mean, you probably park it in the garage, but you can see it from out here too. And like what we mentioned when we were on the balcony, we can easily look into some, not like, not like we want to, but it's just there. So there's literally no privacy whatsoever. They're not even at our eye level. So just remember that. Call me crazy, but you know the last house that we filmed, the, the four million, three million? The Palo Alto one. I'm digging this one more than that one. Like I could see myself actually living here versus the other one. The other one was more expensive, bigger, older though. I like this one more. Of it's, course. That's, yeah, this one's you, this is this is more me. Typical Gen Zers, yeah. You know? <laughs> Just give me a gray wall, give me some great floors, and call it a day. Let's continue though. You're gonna like this one. I hope so. If you wanna wave to your neighbors, <laughs> you do it in this room. Good morning, Tom. <laughs> Just leave your window open. You could send letters, just a little paper airplane. I wish what they did when they uh, do these builds is put windows in places that don't face another window. Like kind of coordinate the windows so they don't just tape them out. You don't have to have a window right across, you know? That'll give you a little bit more privacy, but it is what it is. Let's go and take a look at the owner suite. That's going to wrap up basically this whole house tour. This one's going to be a little bit shorter because this isn't a mansion style video, which is totally fine because we want to show you guys all types of houses. But yeah, let's go. Follow me into the owner's suite. Look at this, California King. <laughs> is that a California King? I don't know. It's pretty big, huh? It is, it is pretty big. I need a bed like that. This bed is bigger than my, my room at home. Make sure you guys like this video. <laughs> this is not a cry for help. <laughs> <laughs> we got a little chair here and we have more windows. This is great, this is nice. <clears throat> Not nice. <clears throat> this is great. This is very fascinating. <laughs> we have a walk-in closet, but you literally walk in and you're there. So it's pretty spacious. Do you think this is the only closet? Cause I have a feeling you know, there might be one in there. I don't know. Oh, there is. I knew it. Absolutely correct, sir. Just for that reason, I'm buying this house. It's a little smaller though, but. They usually do that. Let's get a hot tub review. This is a nice tub. This is a very nice tub. After a long day, you gotta just like the baths. Put some Epsom salt in there, put some bubbles. Whoa, this is pretty spacious. This is huge. I think we can both. Wait, do you just? Wait, are you thinking what I'm thinking? <laughs> I hope not. Yeah, we can both. No, I like how they did this because um, some tubs, they have that kind of curve edge and sometimes water could just go over it, but water would just go on this. So I like how they did it. It's very clean and it's huge. Yeah, it is pretty big. And they have a shower right next to it. So whenever you're showering, I could- Two sinks, hella cabinets. 
hella drawers with that soft close. I think they call these uh, water closets. It's a fancy <laughs> term for it. I'm pretty sure. I watch house tours all the time. <laughs> <laughs> water closets. Dude, that's what they call it. As Alan mentioned, there are three different nests. So you get to control the temperature from each level. So if you're never on the bottom level, no need to heat it. No need to cool it. If you're up here the whole time, just cool this one. It will save electricity, save the turtles. Speaking of that, there's solar panels on this house. So if you want to save money on electricity, Solar panels come with it. If you wanna check this listing out, the link will be down below in the description. If you're looking to buy a house, sell a house, or do anything real estate related, hit up Alan. I'll have his info down below in the description. Um, are we missing anything? Ivan's room, part two. <laughs> <laughs> no, we have to go in there. Ladder, we need a ladder. <laughs> I like this house, I really do. Not for 1.7 though. For 1.7, I'd have to pull some strings. That's 7K a month. That is uh, kind of wild. Which means you have to be making. Oh yeah, let's ask him that. For a $7,000 mortgage, how much does someone typically have to make? 7K, so you're basically paying around 84K a year. On average, you should spend roughly 20% of your earned income on um, housing. 420K. 420. Yeah, to. Uh, be able to live comfortably. That could be dual income, two, two, 10 per uh, husband and wife. $420,000. That's a lot of money, guys. If you have that money and you wanna buy this off of Allen, <laughs> hit him up in the DMs. Thank you for allowing us to tour another property. We've been hitting one a week. That's amazing. So we'll see you guys for the next video. We're out. Peace. See you guys. Shh.